So what I've done here is I have a value scale and then I have collected materials from old books and magazines that relate to the value scale. So what I'd like you to do is look through magazines, old books, and see if you can create a design that is lined up or follows along this value scale. And I like this idea of making this value scale, being able to hold it up to the object so you can really see, um, regardless if there's color, um, if it actually gets lighter or darker. You can see if I move this to the darker end, those are obviously not dark pieces of collage. And then if I use the lighter end against the, the darker pieces of collage, those are not light. So this gives you an, a, the ability to sort of evaluate how light or dark your collage pieces are. So now I am, I like this arrangement of the materials. I've spent some time sort of cutting away um, the excess stuff that I don't like and how I want it to be arranged. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these things to the page. However, I think they will look the best. One thing about gluing is you may want to glue over the top unless you want to keep the gloss finish of your magazine pieces. If you go over your collage material with the glue, it will give it that glossy effect unless you make sure that you have a glue that is either a matte or satin finish. sort of like the way this was a um, a cheetah and I cut away the the excess body parts and just grabbed a hold of the patterning I really liked that um, and I like how it transitions from this color into this color with the patterning still on there and then this was like a bit of sky it has the clouds so once you have your collage pieces glued onto the piece of paper in that value pattern structure, so from light to dark or dark to light, um, the prompt I want you to play with this week is not only being able to see the light and darks in um, pieces of collage material, but also to reiterate them in other mediums. So I've set this up so now I have a really nice um, arrangement of color, value, and pattern. And so the next step of this is I want you to go ahead and start drawing and painting what you see.